Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a disease inherited by a child with a probability of one quarter in a family having two children, what is the probability that exactly one child is affected by this disease? And as usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. In order to solve this problem we have to use two rules. First rule would be uh, rule of multiplication or product rule and second rule would be rule of addition or sum rule. So what combinations uh, this family may have? They may have first child of being phenotypically normal and the second child also can be phenotypically normal. Another variant would be to have first child phenotypically normal and the second child would be affected with this genetic disorder. Yet another variant would be when first child would be affected with this genetic disorder but the second child would be phenotypically normal. And the last uh, variant would be when first child would be affected with this genetic disorder and second child also would be affected with this genetic disorder. So what is the probability that the first child would be uh, unaffected? If probability to have affected child would be one quarter, then uh, according to this logic, probability of having a phenotypically normal child would be three quarters. So three quarters would be probability that the first child would be phenotypically normal and three quarters would be probability that the second child also would be phenotypically normal. So if we multiply all these probabilities we are going to get 9 over 16. So second variant what is the probability that the first child would be phenotypically normal? Once again probability is 3 quarters and probability that the second child would be affected as you remember 1 quarter. So we multiply these two independent probabilities and we are going to get 3 out of 16. And here in this example we are going to get the same number 3 out of 16 would be probability that the first child is affected and second child is phenotypically normal. And probability that the first child would be affected and the second child would be affected would equal to 1 sixteenth. Now uh, let's add all these probabilities 9 plus 3 12 plus 3 15 plus 1 16. So if we combine all these probabilities we are going to get 16 over 16 or these probabilities represent 100% of all probabilities combined. So no any other variants are possible. So our question to find uh, probability that exactly, exactly one child is affected. And where we can see it? We can see it uh, in these two variants. In the first variant, second child, exactly one child is affected. And here also one child, but first child is affected. So two variants are possible. That means we have to use the second rule and we have to combine this probability. So 3 over 16 plus 3 over 16. And we are going to get uh, 6 over 16. And we can reduce both numbers. We can divide by 2. So if we divide by 2, uh, we are going to get 3 over 8. And this is going to be our answer today. So we used a rule, uh, sum rule. One more time, we are using um, multiplication rule when we have... Um, to independent probabilities and we can connect them with the word and. In this case, for example, what is the probability that the first child would be phenotypically normal and second child would be phenotypically normal. 
In this case, we are using product rule. And according to our problem, two variants will suit a solution of this problem. In this case, uh, we can say uh, the first child can be phenotypically normal and the second child can be uh, affected or first child can be affected and second child can be phenotypically normal. When we connect two independent probabilities with the word or, then we're using a sum rule. So that's why we combine these two probabilities. We add this probability to this probability, and this is going to be our final answer. So the correct answer is answer B. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.